Hey, how's it going guys? So I'm making this video regarding uh, someone replied to my video how to automatically resize buttons when change window size. So this person is asking how to resize the, the push button text when you resize the window. So so here's the, uh, the, the application that uh, we're going to build in this tutorial. So it took me a while to finally uh, figure out a solution. Basically, when you resize the application, and by default, the, the button caption is not going to change. It's going to, the, the size is going to stay the same. But here you can see that I was able to, uh, to find a workaround that when you resize the, the window form, the caption or the text uh, on the push button is going to adjust accordingly. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now to get started, I'm just going to go to my website. I'm going to uh, just grab the Python script that we wrote before. So if I launch the application, and as you can see that, so right now if when I resize the window form, the button size changed, but the caption or the text does not. Now let me close the, the window application and so let me see. So let me get rid of the the print statement first. And for this tutorial, I'm going to import the QFont class from the Qt GUI uh, module. So I need to figure out the windows uh, width and height first. It's just the uh, just the width. And so to, to get the window form width, so I'm going to use the uh, red method and that width uh, attribute. <clears throat> and let me activate my virtual environment first. Oh, so here's the typo. So here by default, the window words are 640. So let's say, uh, I don't know. So let me see. So let me get my uh, current default uh, font size. Okay, so let me double check. Uh, just give me a second. So here I want to figure out all the uh, properties under the uh, fonts class and to get the the button text uh, font size so, so here's the the property that I'm looking for the point size property okay so that means the font size the current font size is uh is eight points and the window form uh, words is 640. Now let me close all the uh, window form. So here I'm going to grab my calculator. I need to figure out based on the window words and the font size, how many times I need to take the font size to get to 640. So here we'll do 640 divided by eight. And that means it's 80 times. And here I'm going to uh, rename the positions to position. And I'm going to uh, connect the button to the to the parent object. And here I'm going to create a dictionary. And I'm going to assign self the buttons to the dictionary. I'm going to assign a key to each dictionary pair. It should be buttons, not button. Okay, so should me go back. So I'm going to uh, highlight all the self dot buttons. So you're just within the, the for loop. 
I'm going to uh, reference. So I'm going to uh, provide a like kind of like a unique identifier <clears throat> with the x corner position and the y corner position. Okay, so here I can remove this line right here. That's extra. And I'm going to make a copy of, of this code right here. And this is an attribute called resize events. So the resize events attributes are saying that when you resize the window, uh, what function do you want to fire? So here we need to create a function. And let's call this function resize text. And we're going to assign the events parameter. So here I'm going to give a default size. Let's say I want to, I want the default size to be five. And I'm going to write a for loop. So for position and values in basically, so I can just take uh, this line right here. Oh, shoot, shoot, this one more thing I forgot. I'm going to create a couple of global variables, positions, value, and position. And just because I'll be reusing these variables uh, inside my resize text method. And here we're going to insert if condition. So we're going to set that taking the window width divided by 80. And if the value is greater than the default size, default size. So let me do nine. And we're going to set the font size to. Uh, so if the so if the value is greater than default size, then we'll just take the uh, the value. Otherwise, we're going to assign the font size with the default size value. And next, we'll be able to adjust the bottom text size. So here, I'm going to provide the bottom uh, key values or oh, unique identifier value. Based on their position, and I'll provide the Q font object F, and that should be it. So here, let me fix the the code. And actually, let me do this. So I'll grab uh, this line right here. And I'm just going to print the value in case if I make any mistakes. Right now, let's take a look. Uh, oh, so here I forgot to uh, assign the the method. And what is this one? So here, this should be position, not positions. Okay, and so here I got have another typo. So this should be a method. I forgot. Okay. Okay, so right now I'm just fixing all the typos. Uh, value. So here I need to assign the values variable to the global uh, as the as a global variable. Oh, so here's another one. <clears throat> All right. So okay. So right now the so right now the default font size is three. Okay. Actually, it should be nine. So the default size is nine. Now if I resize the the user form. And so here you can see that uh, the text size 
this gets updated based on the window size. So here, let me change the divisor. Uh, it's an 80, it should be. So let me change that to um, 100. Let me show you. Let's see. So let me change the divisor from 80 to 40. Okay, so right now it's more uh more visible. So here's the the default uh window application. Now if I expand the uh, resize the window form, make make that a little bigger. The button text size is going to adjust accordingly. So here, as you can see, that the text got much bigger now. Alright, guys. So this is everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the information useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.